It's a beautiful day, a day in which the two of you are going to share your love and your commitment one to another before this audience and certainly before God. If you look at the hands of one another, these are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will always comfort you. These are the hands that will hold you when fear and grief fill your mind. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes, whether they be tears of sorrow or tears of joy. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future together. These are the hands that will help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. And then lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness. Here it comes with just a touch. I will never give up. I will always find my way back to the way I feel about you in this moment. I will always be your partner right beside you, leaning on you, learning from you, and respecting you at every turn. One of my favorite books is The Storied Life of A.J. Fickrey by Gabrielle Zevin. There's a quote in that book. Someday you may think of marrying. Pick someone who thinks you're the only person in the room. You thought I was the only person in that room. I will keep our families close. We are so lucky to have them. Such great examples in love and marriage, and I will always look to that. I hate admitting this and so get in because I'm only going to say it this once. You are hands down the funniest person that I've ever met. I will always be faithful. That goes without saying because we know I'm seriously out of my league, so what's the point? I will always speak highly of you when you aren't around. I like that you earnestly say, you delight me. At times, most people would consider me anything but a delight. I'll never stop laughing, and I'll never take for granted how fun this is. I know how unfun it can be, and I like it this way. Because of all this, I knew that I wanted to be with you, but what really made me want to marry you was the love and support you showed me and my family when my brother needed help taking care of Valley. I am completely enamored by you, and you are the only person that I see in a room. And last and most of all, whenever I get mad or frustrated or distant, I promise to pause and breathe and to look at your face and ask myself what life would be like without you in it and to act accordingly. I promise to always be vulnerable and to never disengage and to love you wholeheartedly every day. You are my home, my partner, and my future. And although I always like to be first, I'm so thankful that I get to be your last. Now, you may kiss your bride. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. William Frenzel. Woo!